Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for clicking on today's video. When it comes to Keemstar, people have a love-hate relationship with the man. While some people find Keemstar to be extremely hilarious with his inappropriate jokes, a lot of other people view Keemstar as nothing more but an internet troll who really enjoys getting under people's skin. No matter where you fall on the scale, the one thing I think we can all agree on is due to Keemstar's controversial content, he has been pretty successful here on YouTube. So when he announced his retirement last week, people were in an uproar with their opinions. One of those people was the one and only without a crystal ball, aka Katie Joy. And if you didn't catch my first video breaking down the back and forth between the two, you can find it linked in the description down below. But here is a quick recap of everything that has happened in the last week. Without a crystal ball, Katie Joy is very upset because I pointed out that she stalks and harasses and doxes fucking YouTubers. And not just the YouTubers, but all the family members around them, anyone around them. In fact, she got sued for doing similar stuff to Toddy Westbrook. I pointed that out, she is not happy. Also, I pointed out that she exploits the death, the murders of uh, you know victims on her channel. You know, she's covering this Gabby stuff like nonstop just exploiting this poor girl and the tragedy that took place to her and other people on her channel. But I also pointed out that she, well, I told her to go drive drunk again, loser. Ooh, something from her past. That really set her off. So Katie Joy did exactly what Katie Joy does. She started digging in. She started stalking and harassing to get as much information as she possibly fucking could. And she put out a tweet last night saying, hey, Keemstar, before you bring up someone's past, maybe you should clean your own house. And maybe you should pay your $260,000 that you owe to the IRS with a fucking screenshot that I owe $260,000 to the IRS from the years 2013 to 2018. What a gotcha moment. She got me. But did she? Because if she would have showed more of the screenshot, she would have revealed that that is paid. It's, it's been paid. Look, people, my taxes are fucking complicated, all right? I have multiple different fucking money sources coming in. I have two accounting firms that have to deal with all this and handle all this. And what I was just told, because I had to verify everything before I came public to say anything, right? When my lawyers and my accountants just got off the phone with them. I don't owe any money to the IRS, any back money to the IRS. Obviously, you, you know, you owe this year and fucking shit that's coming up. But I don't owe this bill that she's talking about. I don't owe anything, all right? What happened is my accountants, you know, had a money source that was owed from 2013 to 2018. They're negotiating with the IRS trying to do a payment bill. I don't know. My accountants look out for my best interest. I don't know why they want to do that, but they did. And the IRS said, no, pay it in full, put a fucking lien on it. Once we found out about the lien, we paid the thing in full. So, you know, this is just more spin, more bullshit from Katie Joy. Go fuck yourself. In my personal opinion, Keemstar and Without a Crystal Ball are actually a lot alike. Both of them are extremely stubborn. Both of them have to get the last word in. And on top of that, when they're arguing with people, they do their research. They're going to find the most personal shock of value content possible to share on the other person. And they both double down. That is why there is no surprise to the fact that this is still going on. Without a Crystal Ball did a live stream over on Instagram a few days ago and had even more information information on Keemstar. If you don't have your shit cleaned up, tidied up, if you don't pay your fucking taxes for five years, you have been arrested for arson. You do, you are a rape apologist. You are abusive to women on your Twitter constantly. I don't give a shit what you think of me. 
Please come at me. I don't give a shit. Nobody cares. Why does he give a shit what I say about him? I have 57,000 people on my Instagram and like 185,000 on my YouTube. He has 6 million. He shouldn't give two shits what I have to say. But he does give a shit what I have to say because I'm a female and I'm an easy fucking target and everyone fucking hates me in that side of YouTube. So they can all like rally up and be like, oh, Katie's so terrible. I get it. Nobody fucking likes me. Cool. After Katie Joy went on her Instagram tangent, Keemstar hopped over on Twitter to respond to the allegations of him being charged with arson. Dear Katie Joy, it's recently come to my attention that you did a live stream yesterday saying that I don't pay my taxes and that I'm an arsonist, all right? I'm an arsonist. I'm just burning down buildings, all right? In both scenarios, you again are leaving out key information. As far as the taxes go, I already proved it yesterday in a Twitter video. It's been paid, but you conveniently left that out. That's like me saying, without a crystal ball owes taxes. She owes taxes. She owes the IRS money. Now, it could have been paid, but I'm not going to tell you that she paid it. I'm just going to say that she owed it. Like, you're doing that to manipulate people. The other thing you're doing to manipulate people is telling everyone, oh, he's been arrested for arson. He's, he's arrested for arson. He was charged with arson. Okay, all right, tell the full story, all right? <laughs> I was drunk at a fishing derby. Me and my friends were throwing firecrackers in the bathroom, fucking wasted, and they charged us with some fucking arson. By the way, which is completely wiped off my record. It's not on my record anymore. It's not my record at all. All you could find is some old article when it happened. But instead of just saying Keemstar blew off fireworks in a park building. By the way, I did community service. Dude, I mowed the shit out of that park. I fucking, I uh, used the weed whacker and shit. That park never looked as good as it did when I was landscaping it for community service. I just want to put that out there. But why, Katie, are you leaving out the fact that it's fireworks in a park fucking bathroom? By the way, the park bathroom wasn't made out of wood. It was made out of fucking bricks. Nothing got burnt down. The cops were just pissed off that we were disrespecting their park bathroom. And they hit me with like the biggest thing they could give me, which was arson. And by the way, it wasn't like felony arson. It was a misdemeanor. And it's not even on my fucking record. It doesn't exist, all right? It was wiped off my record. The judge said, okay, he did the community service, gone. It's not on my record. Go fuck yourself, Katie Joy. Quit lying to people. Quit telling half-truths. And um, stop drinking, you fucking drunk. <laughs> okay, you could drink, but just don't drive because you got that DWI, remember? Since all of this has happened, Keemstar has doubled down even more by putting out this invitation over on Twitter. He tweeted, since I'm retiring soon, I want to make sure I do as many podcasts as I can. If you have a podcast, please reply to this tweet with a link to your newest episodes. I will do your show. I don't care if you have 1 million viewers or 100 viewers. I'm coming on. This could just be a coincidence, but I don't think so because Keemstar is not stupid. One of the biggest dramas going on recently in social media is between Todd Chrisley and Without a Crystal Ball. People from all over has been watching the Chrisley Confession podcast to keep up with what is going on with the lawsuit between Todd Chrisley and Katie Joy. So it only makes sense that with Keemstar and Katie Joy now going back and forth with one another that he would pair with Todd Chrisley for a podcast. And I'm obviously not the only one who thought this way because shortly after the tweet went up, people started to comment about Todd Chrisley's podcast in the comment section and even shared it over on Todd Chrisley's Twitter. And y'all know that Todd Chrisley is always looking for an opportunity to drag Katie Joy, so he hopped on this pretty quickly and responded to Keemstar saying, come on buddy, let's do it. This happened about three days ago, but as far as I know, Keemstar has not responded publicly to Todd Chrisley's response. Now that is not to say that they have not spoken to one another personally in DMs and I would not be surprised if we were to see Keemstar over on the Chrisley Confession podcast very very soon. As always y'all know that I am going to keep you updated with the latest in this situation as soon as it pops off. I have a good feeling this is definitely not the end of this situation because both of these creators are too hard-headed and stubborn to just let it go. So if you want to stay in the loop with this please consider hitting the like button 
on this video, subscribing to the channel and tapping the bell for post notifications. That way you are notified every single time I upload. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you team Keemstar in this situation or are you team KJ? Also, I just have to say a massive thank you to all of you. Because of you, we just hit 6K subscribers and that is just amazing. I truly do appreciate every single one of you to the moon and stars. And until the next time, mwah. Bye, guys.